<clears throat> when a when a Hallian government has to go speak for the state, it seems like uh, the more and more elaborate like neck gear they'll wear. Like look, look at my man Josh Green here. What the fuck is he wearing? He looks like Sigmund the Sea Monster. He he should just come out in um he should just come out in, in a costume. Uh, that 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 Moana Moana caught that fucking Disney thing. He should come out just dressed like that, or or, or with a, a Aquaman suit on or something. It's retarded. I know it's pandering, like and and that's what they think of you. That's what they think of you. They, well, I'll, I'll just put all this this gear around my neck, and it's supposed to be like, well, it's a sign of respect. It, it's aloha, you know. This is all you need to do for these people, you know. That all I gotta do is, is wear all this ridiculous fucking floor gear on my body, and you know they'll, they'll listen to me. These people are very simple, you know. That's the mentality. You can tell that, that that's what it, that's what it says. Now I know they all dress like that, and uh, nothing inspires confidence in the local government than watching your elected officials. Uh, Walk into their their uh, state house with uh, slippers on. I know it's hot, but uh, they're supposed to uh, meet a different standard of, of how you carry yourself. And um, I don't know. I don't usually look at local politics, but I should. I should pay more attention to it because my my idea with local politics going up is always like, what are they going to do? They're going to change a sign, or they're going to. Uh, call a rest area something I mean there's really they're very limited to what they can do like most of politicians they're just largely administrators all this shit's been decided but here it's like being in a tourist area um, the little things that they're allowed to make changes on uh, also while doing whatever uh, grift they're, they're doing to enrich themselves uh, does have an impact uh, more so than probably anywhere else I lived as far as local government um, and that's why I've always kind of ignored it but uh, I, I need to keep up with these characters and um, and kind of watch them like the Panopticon Panopticon uh, or Panopticom is the new single from uh, Peter Gabriel's it's forthcoming at some point uh, IO album uh, they've already released a, a version of it during he's releasing new music on uh, full moons and new moons just so that he can remind you he's a creepy weirdo occultist and again I'm using occultist wrong I always I always you know I always admonish uh, others for doing it now I'm doing it it's over here now. Uh, so he um, he's releasing uh, this album slowly, very slowly, because I don't think it's done. He's a fa famously he's a tinkerer, where uh, people that have worked with him before have said he likes to keep every possible option open as long as he can, because he's so indecisive about what he wants to have for a final version. So it seems like what he's doing now is just passing it on to the consumer. He's, he's passing that editing job onto the fans by giving us a different version of uh, Panopticon. This is the Dark Side Mix. Uh, earlier, the earlier releases of Bright Side Mix, now they are different. Um, usually with this kind of thing, it's like I, I can't really tell, you know. Uh, but this is, a, a, this is really is a difference. The, new, the Dark Side Mix, which was just released, a Panopticon is more Peter gabriel -y. The Bright Side mix, I, I reviewed that when it came out. And I liked it. I liked the tune of the song. Um, it's become a uh, butter pecan in my house. But the uh, it was a little bit different. There, there was a bit more melody. It seemed a bit more, not melody, but a little bit more radio friendly. He was using an acoustic guitar in a way that... I don't think I've heard him use in anything before like that. 
like that strumming thing. I mean, since fucking Salisbury Hill, right? And there was that little uh, digging in the dirt kind of rip in there. Well, this new version is less about the mids and sort of more about uh, the experimental things and the groove. Like it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit more Peter Gabriel sounding. And they have a vocal, like one of the. Uh, in the beginning, there's like a vocal that, and it runs through the song too, which reminds me of like an I don't remember type thing. There's a lot of callbacks in here if you listen for it. The song itself is still, you know, very commercial sounding, but this version I think is much better. It's more Peter Gabriel, it's more kind of experimental sounding, um, to my ears anyway. The digging in the dirt part is a lot more pronounced, uh, has more of a more of a uh, emphasis on, on the lower end than a lot of the, you know, MIDI sort of uh, uh, cymbal, um, acoustic guitar, vocal kind of radio. This is a bit more um, the opposite of that. <laughs> it's the same song, uh, but I think this mix is much better. But it begs the question, like, is he going to do this for everyone? And the answer to that is yes. I mean, I don't know, but if I know him, yeah. Uh, as the years has gone on, the years is, as the years has gone on, as the years have gone on, he's become uh, more fidgety with his music, more uh, precious with it. He doesn't want to let it go. And you know, 20 years have gone by since the studio album, and I think the people around him are just like, dude, get come on, you're gonna be, you may not be around much longer. Let's get this done. But in in Peter Gabriel fashion, uh, he's not done. And he doesn't know what to do with it. He can't make up his mind. So now he's passing that on to you. Now, how is this going to play out as far as a full, full album? Are we going to get two versions of it? The dark side version and the light side version? The answer to that is yes. Because uh, if, if I know how this guy operates, that's exactly what he's going to do. And I don't mind that. I think that's okay. Um, it's, uh, it's actually like, it's an interesting idea where you can kind of make your own version, if that's what indeed what it is, or if it's gonna be like a double album, where disc one of the bright side mixes disc two. Either way, it's a very unusual way to do things, and it kind of makes it uh, critic-proof, really, in a way, because not only is it gonna be dripped out over the next year, uh, there's all these different mixes uh, to consider, but what is the official one? I don't know. I'm sure he's doing videos for this. He always, even though videos, a lot of, uh, especially older acts, kind of don't bother with them, but he's always been into them. And um, I don't think video really has uh, gone to the places that he was envisioning it going to. I saw an interview with him in 1983 in Belgium uh, backstage. Uh, it's a cool little segment. He's got the full makeup on and stuff. It was the last time he wore it. He, uh, he dropped it around so. But he's backstage talking about um, music videos and the emergence of the music video. And he wanted to see it, or he envisioned it going into a more artistic direction. <laughs> artistic direction. Fix your fucking molars. And um, like a, he was likening it to a, an LP, like a long player, an album, whereas the short videos were like singles. He envisioned a time when there would be a full video that would be almost like uh, uh, like a, a, an album is to a single and it didn't even necessarily have to have the same music or a component just its own thing like like a kind of like a short film with music in it and there certainly were a lot of possibilities like that on the horizon if you have an artistic mind you think outside the box unfortunately uh, it was really just used as a, as a commercial tool like it was just any kind of uh there's no money in what peter was was talking about as far as hopes for that medium and i don't really know if i would really enjoy that anyway um i think at the time it felt like well people will just they won't listen anymore they'll just watch music and i even thought that maybe as a kid i'm like you just gonna like watch everything but as an adult, I, I don't really like watching videos. Like, I, I definitely don't watch music videos. It's just boring. Who cares? I might watch them once. Like, if it's 
uh, announcing like a new album or something. That's the first single. I mean, just for fun, but I don't sit around watching that shit. I did as a kid because, you know, we didn't have much as a kid. You know, someone had a radio. Another guy crossed down, had like a record player. It wasn't, you know, we, we didn't have a lot to, to work with. So, I mean, you know, whatever. The, uh, and as time went on, it's just, I just don't care. Sometimes, though, it becomes a, a necessary component to the project. Like, I wanted to do a review of the new Damned album, but it's so tied to the video presentation that it's kind of hard to give a, a good a critical assessment of it because it's, you need to see it at the same time. Uh, like, for instance, Jay Banyan wears um, vampire teeth through the whole show because he changes costumes and plays these characters. And when you're listening to Neat, 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 it just sounds weird. It, it, it sounds like me with the broken molar mouth. He's, he sounds like he's singing with, uh, with vampire teeth in, because he is. So it's kind of hard, uh, hard to assess that situation. But for the most part, um, music videos have uh, uh, kind of uh, become just uh, an extra you know, marketing tool. But he's always taken them more seriously. So hopefully we'll see something uh, for uh, Panopticon. And um, he talked a little bit more about the concept. And it was based around this idea. I forget he said, did he have a relative that works in the prison system or something? I don't know. But a panopticon with an N is like a jail set up so that the guard is in the middle. And he can see into all the cells, into all the jail cells at once. So he can view everyone. Peter's idea is to invert that, because of course it is, it's all these guys do, it's inversion, whatever. It's like, we know you're creepy weirdo, whatever. And um, instead of a, a big brother, a little sister. It's like, oh God. Okay, okay, Pete, that's clever. Um, whereas people uh, with good intent, uh, uh, I don't know how you'd choose these people or who they would be, uh, would then focus all their attention, all their attention on one person. So it would be an inverted uh, panopticon, a panopticon. Um, I just keep thinking of Transformers. Panopticon Outriders. It sounds like something like that. But uh, yeah, so I think again, as Darren Locke pointed out, it's a real naive idea. I guess again, yeah, maybe when the internet started up, Pete. Might have been something. But uh, who are you watching? And I know like he has that witness thing where it's like human rights uh, violation kind of looking at stuff. But who's violating human rights in this guy's fucking world? Globalist. Works with the UN. Friends with Bono. Like uh, in the video. Not uh, the video. In the song he sings about the evidence, finding the evidence. Dude, it's all there. It's right there. Nothing's hidden. You just go online and see what the who's doing what. And it's all your buddies that are causing the problems. So it's some, you know, obscure African warlord is not uh, giving prisoners three meals a day. Uh, that, that's what we're going to... But we're going to ignore all the other Davos bullshit, right? It's silly. It's... He's trying to make it look like he's some humanitarian that cares about stuff like that. Um, and maybe he does on some level. But um, do you look at his actions and uh, his content and it you know, tells a different story about what this guy's all about. And we know that. Whatever. What are you going to do? Uh, you know, I still listen to his music. I, I, I wrestle with that, you know, about uh, engaging with this stuff. I've gotten out of movies completely, but music still got its hooks in me. And I don't know. Maybe if God thinks uh, I need to be delivered from it, um, he'll find a way to do that. Because he has with a lot of other stuff. Uh, and I'll help, of course. It's not like I'm like a passenger in this thing. Like, oh, just leave it up them. I mean, but for right now, if anything, uh, you know, it's helpful. It helps me learn things, too, you know. Um, so, I don't know. I'll be sticking with it. Are we going to talk about every release? Uh, yes. <coughs> oh my God, my long COVID. 
This long COVID's actually fucking more like long COVID. Or what's supposed to be long COVID. Long COVID is actually the max. But, uh, what, 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 what? Yeah, I'll be, um, I'll, of course, like a sucker, I'll be there to talk about it. But yeah, end of the day, end of day, uh, this is a better version of the same song. Um, I don't know how they're gonna release this stuff, like as far as an album, like, uh, they, I, I just don't know how that's gonna happen. But uh, it won't be a year from now. It won't be until a year from now, son. Help on Kyle Kyle. Uh B-Boys over there. Are they the original? The original white like B-Boys? I think they are. It looks like they are. I like this guy. This is my, my, um... I gotta give him some money. Oh, crazy homeless people. See, this is, this is it. This is what happens here. He's just gonna attack this fucking guy here. God, he find me a one. Hey, man, thank you. I like that you set up there. I like that you set up there. Because uh, it's rather crazy thing out here. It's not too bad tonight. But uh, as you see, you know, you always have some fucking nutbag trying to start a fight with a, with a tourist like we just saw right there. Um, now this security guard who came out, God bless him, you know. Um, but yeah, that's just the kind of shit that goes on there. Uh, like I said, I usually, I don't even used to talk about it. I used to be like, ah, fuck them, you know, until they, you know, I get chased down the street. And then it's like, all right, well, fuck these guys. Um, but that's pretty empty. It only looked like there was one nutter. One street mutant was there. And of course, they're always mad and yelling, trying to fight with people. Yeah, they are there. Look at me. You took my picture. I want money. <laughs> you know, I like the fact that that guitar, uh, the ukulele guy is there. Um, he's been here for years. My Peter Gabriel, uh, Panopticon review has become, uh, a regular schizo walk. I guess this is what we're doing. I guess that's what we're doing. But, um... But actually, I'm going to pick it up and, and do something else because I'm going over to Long's right now because, of course, I am. But, yeah. Uh, business as usual up here. Um, Panopticon. I like it. I like the new version more. I'll check in uh, later again. Hopefully, uh, get some interesting. Get something interesting. Anything goes up here. Don't blame the teacher. Blame the school. <laughs>